we're going to have Irish corned beef and cabbage. If I can do it, you can do it, and you're in charge of your kitchen. So the first thing we're going to do, we saute the onions, don't we? little olive oil in the pan, get the pan to heat up. Then we add the onions. If you put food in a cold pan, you know what happens? It sticks and then you have a horrible time cleaning. I hate cleaning, I love cooking. So we have our onions in the pan. We're gonna add a little salt to help them get the water out. Make them taste a little better. Looks like it needs a little extra oil. A little olive oil. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And the reason I stir them like this, I want them all to be the same. Besides that, I get bored. I'm standing here looking pretty, watching the onions cook. And don't be afraid. See that little color in the pan there? That's called font. That is beautiful flavor. And I'll show you how to get that out and get it into the pan for the roasting. Now I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. These puppies are just about there. Now we're gonna take this and dump it in our crock pot because we don't want our corned beef sitting on the bottom of the pot. Right here is our corned beef. See how that's browning up? A little oil makes it cook faster and brown up better. And you see them in the fancy steakhouses, this is what they do, so they have color and flavor on all sides. Once you got it seared up really nice, we're going to put it in the slow cooker. What are we going to do next? We're going to deglaze the pan. We want all the flavor that we created in this pan to go in to that slow cooker. How do you do it? Little Irish whiskey today. Normally I use vermouth. And I'm not scraping all. This is a wooden spoon on a stainless steel and it's just coming right out. And what do we do? We pour that into our pan. Most of the recipes tell you, if you read the box, you need two cups of water or chicken broth. This don't taste like anything. We're doing Irish, Irish corned beef and cabbage. Color is flavor, and look at the color of that beer. Watch that. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. And what are we going to add with their corned beef? You can't have corned beef without typical Irish. We need taters and carrots. Now, that's enough food to feed about 10 people. We got that on high, it's going to literally boil in. Uh, 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 what I forget, what did I forget? This is pickling spice. Sprinkle that on. Makes it so much better. And no, you don't have to have directly attached because this is just going to steam all together for the next four or five hours. Welcome back, we have got our corned beef and our potatoes and our carrots and our onions in the slow cooker on high. Next thing, most people just take the cabbage, dump it in there, steam it for 10 minutes and call it what? Good. We don't want good, we want better. So first thing we're gonna do, add a little what? Oil. Mm -hmm. Starting to bubble and shimmer. Drop that onion in. And what do we do? We add a little salt to move it along and make the flavor better. I love my electronic oven grinder. You can find the links down below. 
Onions are cooking down. They're starting to caramelize already. Now what are we going to do? We're going to add the cabbage. Cabbage like onions is like 90% moisture. You go, oh my God, how's that all going to fit? And what do we need? We need a lid. See, it's shrinking down already, isn't it? It was crowning over the pot when I started. Let's see if we can fit it all in. You see that green turn into the brown? Turn the heat down a little bit. Add a little more oil to help it go along. Add a little bit of salt. Lid back on to steam her down. Yes, I'm an anal retentive cook. I clean up as I go. I can't help it. Clean chef is a good chef. Mm, mm, mm. Don't that look good? Well, we want to get that flavor off the bottom of that pot, don't we? I can see it down there. See all them bits down there? What are we going to do? We're going to add a little Irish. Turn it down to low because that cabbage is just about there. We want a little butter because butter makes everything what? Better. And now, you know that pepper we've been missing? Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Paprika. Chili powder. And I like the dark smoke better. Adds more flavor, less bite. And a little W sauce. Japanese flavor profile, we add a little soy for the unami flavor. Doesn't it look better? I guarantee you this tastes better than the cabbage that gets boiled over there or in your pot in the boiled meal. Now, most people would say cabbage tastes like what? Nothing. It's green and it's full of water. It tastes like nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm you could eat this on a plate all by itself, and you'd order seconds. You want to go get my most critical people up front? Go get James. Mm -hmm. Look at that color. Isn't that color different? Nice brown mm -hmm. glaze. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. See that look? Isn't that different? Isn't That's that different. better? Yeah. Isn't that the best cabbage you've ever eaten in your entire life? Uh, my grandma's rolling around in her grave, but yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I go ahead? Go for get a some more. Real quick. Yeah. That Make good. sure you have enough to get a qualified. I want a qualified opinion here. This right here. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, go ahead and get another one. I can see the look in your yeah, eye. Just one more. Just, me... just, just one more. No. What do they say? <laughs> Where it's at right here. That is amazing. Zero to a hundred, real quick. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, we're going to just keep this off to the side until our corned beef is ready. C in 10. Salute to our friends, the Irishmen. Without this, we would not have the holiday. Now, the beautiful corned beef. Look at that. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Pink on the inside. Caramelized on the outside. Mm. Anything?
anything better than that. Mm. That is better than yesterday. And yesterday was fabulous. The searing on the top with the pickling spices, the Guinness, the Jameson, and oh lordy lordy. sauteed cabbage. This is a meal unto itself. We had the boiled cabbage yesterday. This is better. Mm. Brad, the kitchen guy at Brad's Home Center. Like, subscribe, share, and tell me what you want me to cook next. We are taking requests and shout out to all our listeners. And by the way, if you make this at home and you think yours is better than mine, send it to me. Thank you.